feel that educational technologies allow the instructor and the student to have more of an ownership for their own learning and from the side of the student and then from the instructor side to, uh, to give autonomy to the students. urban history tour of downtown Vancouver. They decide when they go, they can go on their own or, or with a friend, and then they follow the instructions, but they make the decisions along the way to stop, to spend more time at any one given point. And then the assignment associated with that is a reflective one, so I ask them about their experience of doing that. So for me, that provides a student with a sense of like, well, I didn't just follow a tour guide. I made the decision of when to go, um, what time of day, and then the reflection is my thoughts on the experience. Education isn't necessarily the most accessible thing because of price, cost and time, but the walking tour makes it a little bit more fun and accessible to the public, so in the future whoever wants to use it can have access to this and can use it. I think open approaches, pedagogies, technologies, specifically in geography, are really important. It's me as an instructor, as an academic giving back, uh, but also the students realizing that they don't have to wait to have a job, or they don't have to wait to be five or ten years into their career to feel like they're making a difference. Mm -hmm.